is ready. He was ready when he fought Sherman Tank Williams in that last fight, and he needed to be because Tank Williams came to fight in that one. And this is just, you know, Barry, this is a, just a very intriguing saga in the heavyweight division and could have some real significance on the future of the heavyweight division. And Obed uh, is going to make uh, Fresno Quendo wait just a little bit longer while they uh, cue the music. Boxing entrances uh, have become uh, as much show business as they are uh, athletic endeavor. Obed is all business. He enters the ring as an underdog here tonight to Fresno Quendo. But he is ready to fight. He doesn't need any robe. <laughs> he says, just give me my gloves and trunks. And he's going to work the room a little bit, too. Remember, he's from Gulfport, Mississippi, not terribly far away from where we are here in Choctaw or Philadelphia. So the crowd, I would have to think, is going to be very much in the corner of Obed Sullivan. This is as much him pumping himself up as pumping the crowd up. He does look fit tonight. and We've uh, heard, as we said, that he's been in the gym and training hard for this fight. 39 and 7, but he's won three of his last four with a draw. 28 knockouts along the way. This promises to be a very interesting matchup between two fighters who are determined to take that next step in the heavyweight division. With more on tonight's fight, let's find out how the champ Sean O'Grady sees it. Sean? Very rich, this should be an outstanding fight. You know, this is a great matchup. Obed Sullivan, his record looks like a who's who of the heavyweight division. He's fought a lot of big names, including Haseem Rockman, the current heavyweight champion of the world. Fresno Quindo, you still don't know a lot about him as a fighter, though. He, you don't know if he has the heart. Now, he's been in training camp with Felix Trinidad Sr., and they've been working on a lot of different things. He's able to go 12 rounds because of that. I have great confidence in him because of his corner. Additionally, they're working with him on something called rolling punches. Rolling punch is a very dangerous thing to do. What you do is you try to catch your opponent's punch and you just roll away from it. You turn a little bit to take the power out of the punch. That's a very dangerous thing to do with heavyweights because a lot of these heavyweights find themselves rolling punches and rolling on the canvas. Not what Obed Sullivan or Fresno Quindo wants to do. Back to you. All right, thanks, Sean. Well, that is something he did do when he fought David Tua, but he says that its own way, the David Tua fight was probably the best fight of his career in terms of learning things. He said, I learned a lot. I was scared. I'm never going to be that way again. Well, you know something? I don't think either of these guys are scared tonight. I and I think, think so. they're both very confident fighters tonight. And I think we've got a real intriguing matchup here. Yeah, he said he was a deer in the headlights against Tua. Never again is what he says. Let's take a look at the numbers, see how these two match up with one another. As you can see, Sullivan, 16 pounds heavier and six years older than Fresno Quendo. And the whole bottom line of this fight could be conditioning. Let's meet him once more with Mark Vera. Ladies and gentlemen, America presents, in association with the Silver Star Resort and Casino, the Sunday Night Fights on Fox Sportsnet main event of the evening, 12 rounds for the NABF Heavyweight Championship. Your judges at ringside are Crystal Wright, Michael Pernick, and Peter Trematerra. Your referee for this event from Pensacola, Tommy Kimmins. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here are the principals first in the red corner to my left, wearing the white trunks, weighing 221 pounds, with a professional record that reads 20 victories, no defeats, 11 wins coming by way of knockout. Elijo de Puerto Rico, boxing out of Chicago, Illinois. Here is the challenger, Fres Oquendo. Oquendo. His opponent in the blue corner, wearing the gold trunks with the red trim. He weighs in at 237 pounds with a professional record of 39 victories, 7 defeats, two draws and 28 wins coming by way of knockout here is the pride of gulfport mississippi and the nabf heavyweight champion obed sullivan sullivan 12 rounds for the nabf heavyweight championship chief second all right, all right. Good luck, good luck. gentlemen this
12 round fight for the NABF championship and you received your instructions, I want to remind you this audience is here to watch you fight, so keep it clean. Touch them up. Just one note here, uh, and just an observation, Rich, that you and I were just making, and that is we talked about uh, how uh, ready Obed Sullivan is just in terms of having broken a sweat. Now look in the other corner at Fresno Kendo, and he is a bone dry. Yes, he certainly is, and that always leaves you very in uh, danger of getting caught cold early in the fight. So round number one, a couple of guys who like to work behind the jab. Obed Sullivan, the former Marine, has fought just about everybody in the heavyweight division and has uh, somehow managed to rehabilitate his career after that disastrous defeat at the hands of David Tua, a first round KO, and that Barry referred to earlier as a, kind of the deer in the headlights. He just froze up that night against uh, Tua. It was a terrible effort, really, by uh, Obed in that fight. But he's managed to get himself back in the mix once again. And now he's beginning to taste a little bit of that jab of Oquendo. He's not moving in uh, quite the same manner that we normally see. He's up a little, usually dancing a little bit more mobile than we're seeing him here tonight. These two guys uh, really do have a respect for one another, as uh, at least as far as boxing ability is concerned. <laughs> you are right about Oquendo's body. He has really developed into a, a getting that into a boxing body. Now, Quendo has the habit of uh, picking up steam as a fight goes along. He usually starts pretty slow. We saw him get knocked down, in fact, in successive fights by Dale Crow and then Ramon Garbet each time in the second round of those fights. But then he uh, rebounded quickly and go went on to get better and better with each succeeding round. And, and you might be able to make a case for the fact that Sullivan is just the opposite. A, a good starter. He took a right hand that, that actually wobbled him a little bit. That's a hard jab that Frez is throwing tonight. Frez looking a little bit less awkward and a little more polished than what he we are normally accustomed to, but we would expect that with the training that he's put in with the Papa Trinidad. I was just going to say, and just being in the same gym with uh, Trinidad Junior, I would think uh, by osmosis, you know, you're going to pick up some good traits. Sullivan pressing the issue, but he's going to have to get past that jab. The right hand, and now Kendall jumps right on him. It looked like it hurt Sullivan. Sullivan was wobbled by a short right hand a little bit earlier in this round. You know, and Oquendo really believes now that he has power. You know, we heard for a long time that he was not a powerful guy. Those legs are not right of Sullivan. They're shot. He's going to have to really get it back here. Oquendo, if he, I'm not sure he realizes how Sullivan's legs are reacting here. He's going to let him get out of this first round. I'm not sure he realized how, how shook Sullivan was. Quindo's got that good right hand. Remember, almost every knockdown that he scored against Etienne was with that overhand right. And already a red man up on the left side of the face of Sullivan. And Sullivan took a beating in that last minute. Beautiful round for Fresno Quindo. You saw it. Some of that, uh, the skills and speed we talk about, the jab you saw him throw, it seemed like a hundred of them out there, and very well trained by that man in front of him, Felix Trinidad Sr. Papa Trinidad. Across the ring, Obed Sullivan, a rocky first round for him. He does have knockout power, and he was throwing the body punches early in the round, and of course has been in against the best. But again, I, I'm really not sure Aquendo realized how rocked Sullivan was. All right, we'll take a look at it, Barry, because Sullivan got in trouble. There's the right hand. Remember how many times I put Etienne down? Look at him rock Sullivan with the, with the right hand. He tried to follow up immediately there, but he was pretty patient. Fresno Kendo showing increased power with every fight. Sean O'Grady has joined us, and Sean, you were sitting here next to us uh, during the end of that first round, and uh, as a fighter, you could see uh, that Sullivan was really bobbled. Definitely wobbled in that first round on a couple of occasions. You know, you were talking about deer in the headlights when 
Sullivan fought David Tua. That's kind of like he was in that first round of this fight. You know, that jab can do that to you. A jab, a good jab, effective jab like Fres uses, it can, can freeze you. You get confused by it. You stand out at the end, the end of the punches, and when you're out there, that right hand comes right down the pike, and it hurts. It was that overhand right, and it actually got to him early, and then he came back with it again and got it. Sullivan again trying to come out and press the issue more, trying to knock down the jab of, of Fresno Kendo if he can. He's got to counter that jab. There's two ways to, to ruin a person's jab. You out jab him like Sullivan is trying to do there. Also, also, if you throw the right hand underneath the jab, just on the left short rib, a few of those, and that'll uh, help him to stop lifting that arm so quickly. Oh, good jab by Sullivan right there. And Sullivan has to wake up in a hurry. Sullivan's left eye showing some puffiness. As mentioned at the end of round one, it was reddening over there quickly near the end of the round, and now it is beginning to puff up, and that's a result of that jab. He just keeps putting the jab on that side of the face. And why not? You dance with what brung you, and that's what's brung him so far. Oh, there it is. Nice. Hey, look at that. Two, three times. Solid.